Hey guys, Coop here. Today we're going to do the uh, double core fishtail bracelet, knot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Mama Coop, she has a uh, video up on this particular bracelet, but it's on the single core. The double core, it just adds, it just makes it a little bit beefier bracelet. And uh, I actually like it because then I can use the 5 8 buckle. Gives it just a little bit bigger of a, uh, a look to it. It kind of kind of makes it look uh, the double one's more like the man's, and the 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 smaller one is more like the woman's. I mean, it, it's it's a real classy, you know, two different size bracelets, but they look the same. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started with this. What I've done. As you can see right here, I just went ahead and done my cinch knot. I brought it all the way down to here, come back up, and went to the side, just like so. Now we're just going to go ahead and start it off. You'll see you got two cores. You got a red side and a yellow side. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the yellow side. We're just going to go over, pull it through. We're going to take the red, same thing, go over, pull it through. Now the only thing that is kind of a pain with these bracelets is you got to keep tension on them at all times until you get going with it really good. And then once you uh, get going with it, it'll start locking itself together. Now remember, whatever side you start with, that's the side you want to start with on every knot. So... Uh, since I started on the right side first, or left side first, we're going to start on the left side again. You just take the red over, through, yellow, over, through, just like so. Just pull them through, push them tight. I'm going to go over. over and push them tight this is a pretty cool bracelet guys it's uh, really simple to make gives you a uh, another option another bracelet to your your inventory and uh, a lot of people seem to like them just remember you keep tension on them Go under with the yellow, over with the red. And as you're going, just keep pushing it up. Keep it tight. We'll do a couple more passes, then I'll pause you guys and come back at the end and show you how to uh, finish it off. The more of these you do, guys, the better you'll get at it. It, uh, like I said in previous videos, it's, it doesn't require rocket science for these bracelets. But the more you do, the better you'll get. All right, guys. I think you guys can get the point right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pause you here, and uh, we'll pick back up at the end, and I'll show you how to finish this bracelet off. Okay guys, now we get down to this part here. If you have a pair of fids, now is a good time to go ahead and put your fids on your uh, your paracord. Because now you're getting into the point to where you know, you're know you going to be working with a really tiny space. Now you don't have to have fids guys. It just makes things a lot easier. Like I said, just keep pulling tight and pushing up. And the, where the fids come in is now we're getting into this little tiny area here. We can make the bracelet tighter by getting that extra little oomph with those fids. You can still do it with a pair of forceps or a pair of needle nose pliers. It just makes things a little easier with the fids. That's all, guys. I think we can get one more go around. 
Oh yeah. And like I said, it just it just makes things a lot tighter, guys. But you don't have to have them. But it helps. All right, now to finish this off, we're gonna go ahead and pop this puppy off of the jig. Now at this point, you can cut and singe on the back if you want to, or you can tuck it. You can either cut it and singe it, or you can tuck it. Me personally, I'm gonna go ahead and tuck it. I figure about three of them loops is about about enough. I'm gonna. This is where you just just got to work it, guys. There, there's number three right there. There's that one. Now we take the old yellow one, go on this side. Push her on through. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with cutting and singeing them, guys. It's just the tucking makes it look a little more professional. And it also avoids that nasty burn because now that I've got it tucked where I want it, now I'm just going to cut it and I'll just let those fray. That won't, it won't aggravate the person's skin. And we'll take it right like this and just cut it and see now that'll just fray underneath there and it won't ag aggravate the person's skin and we have one double core fishtail all right guys I hope this has been helpful I hope you've learned something from this video uh, you want to put your comments and questions down below, feel free. I'll be more than happy to answer anything you post. I appreciate your support. appreciate you watching my videos. It means a lot to me. If it wasn't for you guys, there would be no Mr. Coop. You guys know we've got the Facebook page up and going. Link for that will be down below. You guys going to go over and check it out and hit the like button, feel free. If you don't like what you see, you just wasted a couple minutes of your time. With all that being said, my friends, old Coop's going to say, Coop out.